infect us? Are we going to die? I'm not sure what happened. Suddenly, Peter, Dr. Farragut, was on top of me. He held me down, put his mouth over mine, like some kind of animal. I've never felt so violated. I was choking, couldn't bloody breathe. Like he was trying to smother me. What about the others? What others? There were three more in here with us, after the attack. They ran. Where? I don't know. I need their names. We have a containment issue. I heard. I've asked to talk you for a security team or manic search. This place is huge. If we can't maintain a simple isolation protocol... There's nothing simple about this. All right, let's concentrate on what we do know. We know the virus is not airborne. What are the victims saying? They're saying that Peter engaged in some kind of oral contact. What, like a kiss or a bite? More like an assault. Well, they are not, or the virus is now six. I multiply that times their escape. That's 18 new cases we can look forward to. We're not even sure Peter's done yet. Jules, I need you to get started on the rats right away. We need to find out the rate of infection. Sarah, can you handle the isolation unit until Doreen checks in? Yeah, absolutely. Do you see any signs of acute viral syndrome? Fever, sweats, rash, sore throats, nausea, vomiting, myalgia, arthralgia, lymphadenopathy. Any of that. You get back into a Raycal suit and you find me immediately. Dr. Farraga. Our three missing doctors, Tracy, Raver, and the clerk. No one has seen them since they fled the sound room. Why does that not surprise me? Can you tell me, then, if anyone's tried to leave the base in the last eight hours? No. Well, then, we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Major Biaceros and myself will go floor to floor, room by room. And if they refuse to cooperate, like your brother, let's not forget he is still out there. I'll have to persuade them. I hope you can. But just in case, our security teams will carry stun batons and restraints. You're going to try to win them over with force? The safety of this base is my only concern. All right, I don't agree with restraining people any more than you do, but let's just find them first. See if we can convince them to do what's best for the whole base. You're gonna need my help with those escaped patients. Not as much as I need you in the lab. Rate of infection is secondary to containment, you know that. Jules. I've been tracking infected patients for the past two years. I know how to talk to them. This is not about your qualifications. Then what is it about? Our lack of resources up here. That's bullshit. When was the last time you even left Atlanta? Damn it, Jules. We cannot both be in charge. You'll have to follow my lead on this.
How long do we have to be in here? A couple of weeks, at most. A couple of weeks? What about my research? What if I'm not infected? I'm in the same room with them. We're breathing the same Shut air. Up, Bryce. Everybody, please, calm down. I know this is very stressful. You don't know anything. How old are you? I'm 26. You look like you're 15. I have two masters and a PhD from MIT specializing in virology and biogenetics. I was the youngest doctor hired by the CDC in over a decade, and Dr. Farragut put me in charge of isolation because I'm qualified. Now, I will do my best to address your needs, but I want to make one thing perfectly clear. We will have order here. <laughs> we'll start with Dr. Tracy's room. I'll reach the door and enter first. Don't follow until you hear the all clear. What's that? Stun baton. Use them on polar bears, non-lethal, but they pack a wall. All to come in handy if we run into any bears. We run into Peter Farragut. You'll be glad we have these. He tore off a man's head. You think a shock is going to stop him? You got a better idea? Yeah, I do. No breaching, no batons. We knock on the door. If Dr. Tracy's home, we have a conversation. And if she's in no mood to converse? I've grown kind of fond of my hands. <laughs> Dr. Tracy? Dr. Tracy, it's Alan Farragut with the CDC. These are from the sunroom. She was here. But she didn't want to be. She was trying to get out. Then where the hell did she go? your real name it says it on my driver's license i got my real weight on there too but I, i'm not telling you that who sent you here i work for the cdc i study infectious diseases maybe you can help me don't you come near us you hear me us who are you talking to you're messing with my head i'm not gonna hurt you uh you need a doctor. I am a doctor. That's why I'm here. Uh, to take you to isolation. No, no, no. Not there. And they do terrible things to you. No, I can't tell you. You'll take me to the white room, like Dr. Avit. I want off to space. You get me on the helicopter. Promise me? I'll even get you to sit shotgun. Come on, I'll, I'll go with you. Hi. There is no helicopter here. No, no, not now, but I can make a call. You are a dirty, filthy liar. Now, what are we going to do with you? Are you all right? Yeah. I thought I heard something. I keep thinking about Peter up there. It's just a base settling. Have you slept since you arrived? Uh, an hour or two. I'm fine. Really. Sleep in the Arctic is critical. The mind can play tricks. I'll take that under advisement. Wait, what just happened? Did you see that? Yes. What was going on in that lab? I told you. Peter was researching mutagens. I think we both know that was no mutagen. What was he really working on?
got to let us out of here. This is kidnapping. I demand to talk to a lawyer. This is a public health crisis. The CDC has full jurisdiction. Oh, a hell of a lot of good that's done. We could do a better job of finding a cure ourselves. Give it a rest, Bryce. You give it a rest. You're not the one who shared a bathroom with Typhoid Mary over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Try to keep still. Oh, what? I'll get sick and done. <laughs> Must be bad. Put the suit back on. We don't know exactly what we're dealing with. Everything could be fine. Not knowing is why things can't be fine. Not knowing is why those two over there are gonna turn on me. It's just a matter of time. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I promise. That's a promise you don't wanna make. Do you have morphine sulfate here? <laughs> he needs morphine now. Where do I get it? Level G, drug stock room. from the sunroom. He was hiding in a stairwell. That's Dr. DeClerc from the air assault division. You didn't have to be so rough with him. Maybe if you people followed directions. Maybe if you told us what the hell was going on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What's wrong with him? Is he infected? Uh, we don't know. What's his name? Uh, I told you, DeClerc. His first name? Uh, Henrik, I think. Henrik, we're with you. We're with you. We'll take care of you. He's still breathing. Get him to sick bay. Show's over. Everyone go back to your rooms. Not until you tell us why we haven't been evacuated. You didn't answer my question. We're doing the best we can. That's bullshit. You're from the CDC. You could get us out of here if you really wanted to. You know what? You're, you're right. You're right. We could evacuate you all. Airlift you out to the nearest hospital, and you know what would happen then? We'd start with the doctors and the nurses, the ones caring for you. They'd go home to their families, kiss their kids goodnight, and pass on the virus. And the next day at school, some of those kids would infect others, and in two weeks' time, this virus is in the general population. In four weeks, every major city on this planet. So no. We're not evacuating you. But we're not abandoning you. We will stay with you. As long as it takes to figure this out. Now, please, just go back to your rooms. Nice speech. I haven't heard that since Kickwit 95. It was Joe Burton, 96. What are you doing here? There was something strange going on in Peter's lab. I've been combing surveillance tapes. I asked you to work on rate of infection. This seemed more important. But I thought I made this clear. What's this... going on, Ellen? You were always stubborn, but at least you made sense. We talked about this, all right? Is I this about you... Peter? That's absurd. Are you punishing me? Because believe me, I've punished myself enough for both of us. This is not the time. It's not the place. To it was never the time or the place. That was the problem to begin with. Jules?
We're here to help you. No. Not you. Walker. Got something here. Injection logs for the last three months. Here's the date that matches the surveillance tape. February 19th, lot 14. He injected 0.2 cc's of Narvik A, lot 15, 0.2 cc's of Narvik B. What is that? I encourage my staff to push the envelope to try new and untested formulas. Was Peter experimenting with this? Not that I was aware of. Who else worked in this lab with him? You met both of them yesterday, in body bags. We need to replicate the test. Peter's research. We can examine the results ourselves. Inject more rats. And see what happens. I should have known. They were never going to use it for something good. Move a few genes here and there. Activate the replication cycle. Bingo. You got yourself the perfect weapon. It wasn't my fault, right? How was I supposed to know it was going to go sideways? You, you can't make a virus and expect it to follow instructions, right? Don't play dumb. You're not fooling anyone. You knew what you were doing this whole time. I am not taking the fall for this alone. You hear me? Make any kind of contact. You get any secretions on you? No, I'm, I'm okay. He didn't attack me. A lot of empty vials and syringes over here. Morphine sulfate. He's in pain. This is good. Excuse me. If he has the presence of mind to self-medicate, then maybe we can talk him into coming back to isolation before he infects anyone else. I don't know. He, he had this look in his eyes. It wasn't. It wasn't quite human. What else did he do? I mean, aside from climbing his cage like Spider-Man, he said something. He said, you're here for a reason. Only not me, he said Walker. Jules. I think he left us a trail to follow. I'll get a security team. I'm going with you. Not this time, Doc. Things have been getting out of hand, and you know we can't afford to lose you. But I tell you what, though. How about you be my wingman? Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. I didn't think you were old enough to remember that one. Die Hard? Sure. Saw it in third grade. Ouch. You see anything up there yet? Nada. How do we even know he's still up here? I know Peter is still up there. What makes you so sure? He used to hide in the attic when we were kids. My dad was drinking or angry, which was a lot. Keep the chatter down. We don't want to scare him away. No offense, but I don't think he's the one who's scared. Get it? 
Check your six. Make sure he's not behind you. Cerros. Is he infected? I'm uh, still breathing. None that black shit on him. His pulse is steady. <sighs> what happened up there? Hell if I know. One minute I was alone, the next minute I'm getting a face full of your brother. I must have nailed us both with that bug zapper. That's them baton pack 600 kilovolts. Should've knocked them out cool. Seems a lot of things should be happening with Peter, aren't? Base one. Okay, we're on our way. Elevator alarm just went off upstairs. Someone's trying to leave the base. Narvik A subjects are decimated. Close to 100% mortality rate. The Narvik B? Morbidity at 100%. Mortality at zero. They're infected, but still alive. It's been a long time since I did real lab work. Guess you forget how tedious it can be. No, I miss it. The precision, commitment, sacrifice. All leading to the joy of discovery. My mother used to say something just like that. She was also a scientist. Cellular biologist, yeah. She died when I was very young. I'm sorry. What about your father? If I give him any more, I might kill him. Yeah, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Nice. I suppose you'd feel the same way if it was you lying there. Look, I feel sorry for Haven, but those are the breaks. Everybody, please. We just need to be patient. That's easy for you to say. You're back inside that suit. This is just a precaution until we figure out a treatment. You're not figuring out a treatment. In fact, I don't think you know a damn thing about this virus at all. Stop it. Stop. We're all doctors here, right? Instead of bickering. Let's put our heads together. Yeah. Let's get her to let us out of here. You know I can't do that. There's a chance that you could infect others or become violent. And, and what if someone gets violent inside this box, huh? What are we supposed to do then? Open the door. At least let us go back to our labs. No. <clears throat> do what you want, but I'm not letting you out of here. Then you're going to call someone who will. One. Okay. We have to go back. What? A couple of detainees are demanding to be let loose. They're holding Dr. Jordan. Go. I'll check outside. Secure the perimeter. Security teams. Level lockdown. Release Dr. Jordan at once. Then we can talk. Let us out and she comes with us. No harm done. If you let us go back to our labs, we can help with the virus. Bryce is a hematologist. I'm a biochemist. You are in isolation for your own safety. More like rats in a box. We're not going to die in here. We are working on an antiviral therapy. As soon as we run animal trials. Animal trials could take weeks. We're not going to be around that long. And you know it. <laughs> I need you to let Dr. Jordan go. Ah, don't come any closer. 
Look, we're working as hard as we can to figure this thing out. And we won't stop until we do. We both know that's a crock of shit. Hear me, Bryce. Listen, I'm in here with you. Not out there. We will work this out. All right, just give me the syringe and let Dr. Jordan go. Why should we trust you? together. Alan, what you did back there. Thank you. I was just doing my job. And so were you by not letting them leave. I had a good teacher. Yeah, you went home. It's low risk anyway. Well, with a lack of airborne transmission. Jules, what is it? I need to show you something. The Narvik A subjects died horribly. Lesions, hemorrhagic shock, liquefaction of internal organs. But the Narvik B subjects didn't die, they became Highly aggressive, agitated. Sounds like a Lysa virus. Maybe some form of rabies? Rabies doesn't include a compulsion to spread the contagion. I've never seen a pathogen with such focused behavioral patterns. The B samples are acting just like vectors. Vectors on steroids. I think the B virus rewires the brain to create a perfect contagion machine. Like Peter. Dr. Peggett? Dr. Taki would like a word with you. I'd like a word with him. Get down to isolation, check on the infected patients. If what you've discovered is true, we're not just dealing with a single virus anymore. Going for a spin! It's a brisk night. You brought your woolies. This doesn't have anything to do with you. Still, I'm gonna have to ask you to return back to the base. If you had any idea what they were doing here, you'd be getting the hell out yourself. The transgenic experiments, the virus vaults. Unregulated research sounds great until you're actually doing it. What they did to those monkeys was, was an abomination. Come back inside, I wanna hear about this. I'm not going back. Just come back inside, you're gonna freeze out here. People have to know what's going on up here. We have to tell the newspapers. Hell, we have to tell everyone. have to go back in there right now. I can handle it. I'm good. Thanks. A little help. Meet Dr. Tracy. She's in the advanced stages, but got her tranked up on monkey juice. Took me a long damn time to haul her ass up here. And there's some other monkey business I think Dr. Farragut would like to hear about. bringing her in here, are you? She's going straight into the ICU chamber. You won't have any contact. A little late for that, isn't it? He sees it! I need a crash cart! Got it! Do it now.
This virus was less of a danger before the CDC arrived. My people were the ones attacked in there. Yours were doing the attacking. I thought you had that situation under control. I was mistaken. And I thought we had the full picture, not to mention complete access. Maybe you can tell me how it is that patients here just go missing. Or how a member of my team is attacked by an infected monkey she was told didn't exist in the first place. Or maybe you'd like to tell me why my brother was tinkering with maybe the worst contagion this world has seen in his own damn lab. You should ask your brother. I would never encourage something so reckless. First things first. How do we contain the infected patients? We don't. Not without complete transparency. And if I refuse? We came here to help. You no longer want that help, that's fine. But it seems to me we're the last chance you have. So, maybe we give each other what we want, what we need, and just maybe we all get out of here alive. Get them back. I didn't keep you off the search because of Peter. I didn't want to. I lost you once. I appreciate that. I do. But I'm not your responsibility anymore. You can't keep trying to protect me. Don't know that I can stop. 